Hey guys, how's it going? I hope all is well. Welcome back. And of course, if you were new here, welcome. My name is Court Slay, and today I am being dramatic because it's spooky season. You know what that means? Spooky content for spooky season. We're trying to dive in and touch some spooky, spookiness with the spooky, 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 make version spooky. October spooky season month of yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm being weird. I am. We are diving right on into some demonologist today with my cousin. He is, he's a little mushy, but don't tell him I said that though, all right? If you're watching this, Brit, don't. <laughs> Just kidding, please do. <laughs> we are going to the penthouse. We are tracking down Susie herself, the one who cannot be trusted, and you will find out why. Let's get scared grab some popcorn please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and let's let's get started so in the penthouse you'll find the first two notes the first one is on the kitchen counter oh okay okay so there's a note here it is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i feel your fear as you found a note like this in our house i don't want to scare you i'd be scared if i found a random note in my house too there's nothing to worry about. I was the owner of this house. Actually, I'm a ghost too, but not the kind you hunt. At least I hope so. In fact, even while you're reading this note, I am right next to you. Calm down. Don't be scared. I mean no harm. Actually, I seek some help. I feel like you can help me because of your business. Many people like you came, and I and I tried to live in this house before, but they couldn't get used to me. But you are different because of the work you do. I don't think you will have a such a problem. At least I hope so. I can share my house with you, I guess. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you can really help me. I really don't know if I can trust you. We need to test this. If you want to know me, if you want to help me, you believe in yourself, let's start with this riddle. However, if you can't solve this riddle, you may not have a chance for the puzzles you will enter in the future. It encompasses all animals, people, plants, universe. It rots flesh. Okay, this is the, this is the, uh, the riddle. Right. It encompasses all. Animals, people, plants, universe. It rots flesh, bends metal, crushes rocks to dust over all. Um. Okay. Once you have read the first note, go to the bathroom, the kitchen wall, and say time. So they go back to the kitchen. Back to the bathroom, sorry. Like, right, go to the bathroom right, upstairs right. to the end stall by the and say, pipe. And say so time. Pipe. Think so. It says enter bedlam or enter counter. Once you've finished, go to the bathroom to the blank wall and say time. Here. Time. This is by a pipe? There should be a pipe in here. Uh go to the bathroom upstairs by the wall. Stall. By the end stall by the pipe and say. Hang on, go to the bathroom blank wall and say Time. Time. Um, I'm confused. Time. Hmm. Are you sure it's in the, the one here? You will find the first. Go to the first one, the kitchen counter. Once you read the note, go to the bathroom. Hang on, let's go downstairs and see. There should be a pipe. Some type of pipe somewhere. Time. Enter. Once you have first note, to go to the bathroom to the blank wall and say time. Enter the room and read the note. Oops, sorry, that was me. That was me. <laughs> go to the bathroom to the blank wall. There's a lot of blank walls. Like, I'm confused. Time. Time. Go back Let's go time, back time again. I'm thinking about there being a pipe. I don't see no freaking Oh, pipe. no. I'm sorry, no blank wall. The pipe's for another riddle. Go to the wall and say time. It's a blank wall, like this one. Time. 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 <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. You just had to scream at Brad, that's all. Hello? Is anyone home? Well, surely this is not. A second because... note. There's a note right here. You want to read it aloud for me? Sure. It says, I knew I wasn't wrong about my feelings. 
We really can do this. Don't be afraid that there's a secret room in your house. I can hide things that I don't want to be seen with riddles. I learned that... Oops, excuse me. I learned this thanks to a book I found in Bedlam. Is that how you say that? Bedlam? Bedlam? I don't know. The reason yeah, I... Bedlam. <laughs> the reason I need your help is about this. What? I, the reason I... Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I want you to bring this book to me. I can hear you say, book? What book? You'll learn soon. The book is waiting to be found hidden in there. All I know that... All I know that it's... This person's English is horrible. <laughs> all i know that it's there somewhere since i'm bound to this house i cannot go and search by myself but we can find it with the clues you'll bring i can see him again thanks to you i know you have many questions we will find the answers together but i cannot share any more details with you for now at least until you get there i believe you will help me susie susie Okay, I'm I might be reading ahead, but follow me. Oh lord, okay. No, I'm not reading I haven't I just noticed this. So I came in here and I saw this list of names. But you've seen this before, right? Yeah, I saw this. So read the first letter of everything but number twenty-eight. And well, hang on, they're all twenty-eight. So it says don't trust her. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. The, don't read the F, don't read the V, and it says don't trust her. So that's that's weird to me. And here don't we are learning about a Susie. Trust her. Ooh! Oh, I found it. I found the other note. It says, now you're ready, ready to go there. Puzzles you have to solve, dangerous ghosts, and more. It won't be easy if you can, if we can. There's something... Sorry, excuse me. That's something we'll talk about later. Bedlam is not a place how you think it is, not an ordinary asylum, but a corrupt place where people are tortured by sick-minded doctors and their assistants. Where evil is done under the name of good, that's why you will encounter a lot of aggressive ghosts there. This will be deadly, but I believe you can do it. It's your job after all, right? The place where they took me for the first time was a day I will never forget. They came to my cell and closed my eyes first. I'm sure they did not want me to see where we were going. I can rightly say how many floors they took me up. I was unconscious, but I could hear their conversations. Couldn't see them, but hear them. It didn't take me long to realize that their voices were echoing. I was in a place like a toilet. Okay. <laughs> the, bath the bathroom. I was in a place like a toilet. At least that's how I felt. The smell confirmed my feeling. After some walking, we suddenly stopped. I didn't know what was going to happen. They leaned me against a wall and shouted, Mirror! I still remember that wind blowing in my face. Even if I couldn't see it, I'm sure that place has changed. There's definitely something hidden in that place. I don't know what it is, but we can start there. After we solve the mystery of this place, we should decide what to do. Susie. Okay. So now we go back to Bedlam, and then we have to come back to the penthouse, and you know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, now we go to Bedlam. Alright, so we have to go up the stairs, grab a flashlight first. Yes, grab a flashlight first. I just saw the inside of your head. How my teeth look? They looked actually pretty white. They were a nice set of teeth. <laughs> the fact that we both look at the statue. <laughs> it's fine. All right, upstairs, 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 upstairs. Yeah, you keep talking. You attract whatever comes after us. <laughs> now we say mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> cool. Have what does that say? Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. All right, I picked the yeah. key. All right, I have the book out of here. That's all we need, I think. Enter bedroom, go to the bathroom, then grab the key of the table, the room, head back to the penthouse. All right, all right. All 
All right, bitch, you ran maybe a few steps. There's no reason you should already be out of breath. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's pretty accurate to me, honey. I'm out of breath just getting out of my bed, bro. <laughs> Oh, man. Upstairs. Oh, I see your eyeballs. I see your teeth again. Hey, you got some pretty I can teeth. See your, I can see your eyeballs floating in your head. All right. <laughs> go back to her room. So go okay. back to her Go back to Bill and Susie's room and read the, no, the new note inside. Inside. Be a new note somewhere, or maybe in the same spot. Oh, this you're good. key, yes, this key looks familiar. I've seen it before. This is the key that Dr. Thompson carried with himself all the time. I'm pretty sure it opens a door in the canteen. He would pass us by. He would pass us by while we were eating, and enters the room there with this key. We were watching him in curiosity. However, they, God. They must have realized that because they sealed the canteen door with a rope. From then, we started to eat in our cells. First, you have to cut that rope. You have a knife, don't you? Don't tell me you work at a job like this and your company didn't give you a knife. <laughs> anyway, if you don't have one, I'm sure you can find one inside the hospital or somewhere nearby. There are things I need to tell you about myself, but first, you have to go to that room. Let's find out what's in there. I'll be waiting for you here after you open the room and investigate, Susie. I you have to go like... back to Bedlam and look for a knife. That place freaks me the fuck out, bro! You know what's sad? This one's deeper inside. Yeah. Yeah, giddy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. This yeah. looks like a shed. I think there's a shed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe you said the knife is in here. Cool. There's supposed to be a knife. I found, uh, um, wow. um, look at me, bro. I found a knife and a pair of, um, well, oh, shit, I don't even... Oh, I don't, I don't remember remember get the knife to the left of the shed. It will be glowing. Go to the canteen door and cut open the head office at the canteen. Gee, there's a canteen? Head to the office in the canteen. I bet you that's inside the office in here, right? I would assume. Is it the office to the right and to the left? You know what I'm talking about? Upstairs? Go to the canteen door and cut the rope and head to the office in the canteen. Okay, well, I have a stupid question. What's a what's canteen? A, what's a canteen? Wait a like minute. I... Whoa, don't tell me wait a minute. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe this was it. No. I'm going upstairs to see that door that's on the other side of the bathrooms. Maybe that might be it. Oh, okay. Good job. Or good idea, I should say. That sways them when I was thinking about. I don't think... I don't think it is. It's just something about there being in the office, and there's like a door with a rope. Um, go to the key the door. Fuck! Oh the god! Rope. Shit! Let's head outside real quick. I don't want to be up here reading, like, and then we get jumped. We just got here, bro. We just got here. I don't know what a canteen is. All right, we need to Google what a canteen is, because obviously we're stupid. There it is, canteen. There, oh. There's the rope right in front of you. Use the knife on the rope. Go to the canteen, cut the door open, head to the office in the canteen, and then go back. Go to the canteen door and cut open. Head back to the office. Head to the office in the canteen. There's an office in here. Over here, over here. Or over there. That, that, I like that way better. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's right though. Head the other one and then go back to the penthouse. That's it. Whoa, look at the wall. Ooh, what does that say? The Dark King Immortal. Um. 
something high in the sky. Oh, pro proving? Is that what that says? High in the Proving high in the sky. From tears, from he's, tears born, he's born. The ghost silent. The ghost silent cry. No, I don't think that says. Rye. It's W R Y. Rye. Breaking. 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 Blah blah blah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I think we're good. We just said open the door. Then we have to head back. Okay. Once back, cut the door. And then go back to the house. I mean, they go back to her room and read the new note. Oh, it's this one. We yeah, literally... the, doors, the doors will be open. I'm sprinting just in case because I don't want to hey, get Hey, yo, dumped. chill out. Chill out. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I was walking slow the entire time to see if my stamina just for that. That is a cool fucking map. Dude, bro. God, I love this game. She would be paying rent. She has that room in there, you know. You have a good point. <laughs> we have to look for a new mm -hmm. note. So we get the one that we read here's oh, gone. There's one on the couch. I'm actually Interest. surprised that you tried to help me so much, even though I didn't tell you anything. I think I should have been more open and honest with you, but you can't decide whether you can eat it or not without seeing the inside, can you? Actually, everything didn't start with Bedlam. Everything started with my marriage to that man. With that man who constantly beat me, constantly insulted, and cheated on me. The best but saddest thing that ever happened to me was getting pregnant by this man. We had a child named Alina. I thought everything would be good thanks to my little Alina, but everything started to get worse. Everyone I asked for help turned their back on me, including my own family. Everything got more complicated as my Alina got older. He treated my Alina as he treated me. He was beating and insulting her. He hated us so much that he wouldn't even protect or care about his own daughter. How can you leave a small child alone in the bathroom? My little Alina drowned in the bathtub. Oh, God. That's getting morbid, man. Oh, From God. getting abused by your husband to killing your baby in the tub. Yeah, the the worst part is that he acted as if nothing had happened, treated me like I am sick, and had me locked up in bedlam, made me look like a lunatic. Even my family did not stand by me. That's why I'm asking for your help. Maybe this sounds wrong to you, but I can see my Alina again. I don't think about who is guilty and who is innocent. All I want to, is to see my Alina, even if it's just one last time. Now that you know the truth about me, we can get back to work. That writing you see that writing you see on the walls is like an incomplete text, but wait a minute. I remember hearing that. Yes, I definitely remember it very well. The employees in Bedlam were talking about such a riddle among themselves and were trying to solve it. As far as I can remember, the riddle was like the Dark King literally what we just read. The Dark King Immortal Watching High in the Sky, From Tears He's Born, The Ghost's Silent Rye, Breaking the Chains of Time, Unlocking Eternity's Door, In Mirrored Eyes, The Dreamers Dance Forevermore. I don't know the answer to, I guess we won't be able to continue without solving this puzzle. I trust you with you, I will get to see my Alina again. You are my only hope, Susie. We gotta go back to the office. Oh, we read that bloody note. Uh, back to bed. Let me go. We're coming for you, Alina. <laughs> poor dead, poor dead girl. Oh, I forgot a flash. I forgot to grab a flashlight. Oh my god, Brett. I was excited, bro. This is getting interesting, man. <laughs> it is getting very good. There's dead people, dead babies, abusing husbands. This is getting super interesting. Like one of those novels, man. It's like a Stephen King. Book. That's, that's what I'm saying with the ghosts and the investigating, man. It's this way, right? Yes, sir. I believe it was that second second door right there. This one? Mm-hmm. I mean, right? technically, yeah. Technically, we don't. We just went around. Can we go around, or is it blocked? I went around the door. Let's oh, my see. God. I went around the door, too. I'm so stupid. Turn to them and head back to the office. And the answer to this riddle is very easy. Mm hmm. Death. Oh. 
Damn, I thought it'd be more dramatic. You want to give it a try? <laughs> oh wait. Death. 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 Hello. Death. Death. Head back. Return to bed. I'm head to the office in the cafeteria. Then say death. There should be two notes in a room that open. Death! I don't like that sound. No, honestly, I'm just ignoring it. Death! Matter of fact, here's how much I'm ignoring it. Oh, you can't close the door. I know, I already tried. Death! 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 Death, 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 death! <laughs> Oh. Okay, you just you just had to say it 12 times. <laughs> All right. Okay, are they both health reports? Let me see. Go you back. found this place. You know what you're looking for. I hope you were one of us. Go to our secret place and say the word cloud, Dr. Thompson. And then here's a health report of Susie. Diagnosis schizophrenia and personality disorder. The patient's health status was examined in detail and the information presented below is obtained from the patient's clinical assessment. Summary, Susie is a patient who has been diagnosed with schizophrenia, significant disturbances in her perception of reality, hallucinations, and thought disorders were observed. This report details Susie's symptoms, treatment and planning, diagnosis and symptoms. As a result of Susie's extensive evaluation, she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. The patient experienced us uh, oscillations i don't know if that's how you say it oscillations between reality and Im imagination confusion and hallucinations as regular intervals this situation causes significant losses in susie's daily life a treatment plan includes medication individual and group manage oh wait sorry group combination treatments it is aimed at managing and improving the symptoms shown by susie regular use of appropriate medications yada 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 Individual therapy sessions focuses on Susie's ability to manage her thoughts. Supportive group therapy allows Susie to interact with other patients who show similar symptoms in a similar situation. Yeah, looks like the average doctor's note. Oh, okay. oh I feel bad. What? I went to the car thinking as soon as you're reading, I could leave. You have to be with me, so you have to run through by yourself now. Oh, that's okay. I'm almost out. I thought I could be able to click it and you just go with me, you know what I'm saying? I saw you running because I did too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I thought I thought it would I thought it would have pulled us both out automatically, you know? I uh, know it's it was it was a good idea, but I think that's stupid. I'm here though. I is here. So we were, for, we we were to supposed to leave. To the safe for sure. house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head back to the safe okay. house and read the note inside of Susie's room. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, here it is. I've been sleeping on the edge all the time since I've been there. I was waking up to even the slightest sound. I heard their whispers at midnight, even when everyone was asleep. I think they waited for everyone to sleep. I could hear the footsteps of doctors approaching my cell at first. I thought they were coming for me. I was scared. But they walked past my cell and moved on. They stopped after a while. I heard the door of another cell opening. The cell door was not in the same line with mine. The sounds were coming from farther away. After some time, I heard the word you saw in the note. I had the same feeling I had in the toilet. There was a difference, as if somewhere had changed. The reason I am telling you about this memory may be that this is the place they refer to as a secret place. It's worth a try. First, you have to find the cell keys that Dr. Thompson was carrying, or you can't get into those cells. Try searching the keys in Dr. Thompson's room. After you find the keys, go down to where the cells are and find the right cell. You might need to try all the cells one by one after you got inside. Try saying the word a few times. I don't know which one is the right cell. Maybe you can find a sign or a mark telling which one it is. Go and find that book. I can't wait any longer, Susie. So this one says we have to go back to his office, Dr. Thompson's office, the first floor, far right from the main door. We read it on the way in before. Mm -hmm. And there'll be some place cards next to his door. And then grab the key on his desk. And then we have to head to the basement. We have to solve a puzzle in the basement. 
a puzzle. All right, so here we have to head to his office. You'll see placards with his name on the door. That's how we know it's his room. There's going to be a key on his desk. And then we have to head to the basement, open the third door on the left. And there's a word you have to say to open another room. And there'll be a puzzle. I'm going to have to do a puzzle. Okay, so we have to go to his office first, though, right? That's in the cafeteria. Oh, right. And his, well, hold on. No, 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 no. Go to the bedlam office, ground floor, go to the far right of the door. And then on okay. top of the door, it'll say Dr. Thompson. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I think it's this one. Thompson. Yep. And then inside on his desk, there should be some key. Oh, there. are. can't. There's no button to grab them. I picked them up already. We're good. Oh, okay. So now Sorry. we go down to the basement. Open the third door on the left. Where's, Where's the, the basement? basement stairs? Maybe it's these stairs over here that I found earlier. I thought they only went up. You could absolutely be right. I don't remember. And you were absolutely right. <laughs> or? Or? We're stupid and we can open this door. <laughs> oh, we walked past it how many times? Like three. <laughs> we walked past it so many times. All right, so we get down to the basement and open the third door to the left. Oh, to the left. To the left. So if we go this way, there should be a door. One, two, there it is. Three to the left. Oh, I got you. Uh, I got you. You got a key. We go inside and say cloud. Oh, cloud. 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 You just gotta scream at it, I guess. What is this? Sun? Okay, so it's sun, moon, or I'm sorry, moon, sun, moon, moon, sun. Moon, moon, sun, sun moon, 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 sun. Grab the Ooh. key and head back to the path. I got it. Let's go. Get out of here. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Yeah, I like that. This is an insane asylum, not just a hospital. Mm-hmm. See, I'm kind of afraid. Why? Because this tutorial, we're almost completely done. But the end of the the end of it is blurred. There's one more sentence and it's blurred. Oh well, lord. And it says Don't here say the that. final one. On on the last objective, it says now you get to decide. Give the book to the statue and get an event or return to the penthouse and read it to the to Susie's in the room. And then there's the rest of it's blurred out. Grab the key and head back to the penthouse. And there's another note from Susie. And the reason why I'm saying I'm nervous is because in the bed in this penthouse, right? Uh-huh. Right here, it says don't trust her. Right. So I'm like, what what's going on? How did you, did you, is that in the thing that you're reading? Not at all. No, it's not. I walked by, I looked at it, and I, my brain just picked up the don't trust her. You see Dude, it? that is so crazy. I wonder what that's from, though. Is that from the asylum? I don't know. Because if you look, too... Mm-hmm. Okay, it is painted on. I thought it was like, maybe it was carved into the wall. All right, so there's one more note in here. And you seem pretty good at finding these. I don't know where they are. Here, I can try to find it. It's right there. You just passed it. It says, I think we've reached the end. I can feel it. This is our last obstacle. I will meet her again. There is one last thing left for us to do. I know this key. When they took the book away from me, they hid it somewhere using this key. That place is in the shed outside the building. And I know that this key will work when you get there. 
I have no idea what awaits you inside. All I know is that the book is there. I am running out of patience. Bring me that book now! A no caps. Susie. I'm not trust I'm trusting her less and less, bro. I'm just kidding. It's not on all caps, but she's definitely not. Uh, she's not holding back on those exclamation points. So here's here's how this is going to go down. We go back to the shed. Uh -huh. We do what we got to do. We open the trap door. We grab the book. Whatever happens, happens. And it says we have to decide whether to put the book with the statue or give it to Susie's room. And whatever <laughs> happens, happens. I don't know what. what I don't know. Does what. I honestly don't like how she's demanding shit from us. <laughs> like... You want to give it and i think hang on, before you go in this here this is what i think the this girl we've been looking at look at her hand tell me doesn't look like you put something in her hand like a book oh maybe maybe we'll see see how her hands curved yeah Dude, that, that book goes in her hand bro <laughs> let's go Hello? Ooh, there's a note. Do you see that note? No, you don't. Damn, I don't see any notes. Unfortunate. Read aloud. <laughs> <laughs> it says, Susie was a young person who had not been able to communicate successfully with her environment since her youth and had harmed the people with whom she communicated. Having problems with her family, Susie met Martin at a young age and they decided to get married. Susie and Martin wanted to be parents at a young age, but could not have children due to Susie's illness. Susie does not have any children. What? What? What happened? Read that, re -read that part again. Susie and Martin wanted to be parents at a young age, but could not have children due to Susie's illness. Susie does not have any children. Ooh, so she's lying. According to the records. But Susie has convinced herself that she has a daughter and her name is Elena. He was telling his wife that he had seen his daughter and even talked to her. Okay. Susie's husband, Martin, brought Susie to Bedlam for treatment to help her. My first impression of Susie was that she had a moderately calm personality. She didn't seem to have any issues, or so it seemed. Susie's husband... This is long, so get some popcorn. Oh, you're Susie's husband was also coming to visit her often. One day, I saw Susie in her cell, interested in a book. Actually, that is normal, isn't it? But when I saw the book, I had a strange feeling. That book was pulling me in as if it were talking to me. When she noticed that I was looking at her, she quickly hit the book and averted her eyes from me. After all, we are in a mental hospital, right? I thought it was perfectly normal. Susie started to take on different attitudes day by day. She wouldn't eat anything, and we noticed that her moderate demeanor was starting to become more and more aggressive. All she cared about was that book. Susie and her husband seemed to be on good terms. He used to visit Susie often, but when he came to visit, Susie didn't want to see him anymore. She was completely enclosed. As the days passed like this, one night we heard loud screeches coming from Susie's cell. When we got there, we could clearly see Susie's veins swollen almost to bursting as if she had no skin. Her fever was over 40, and she was muttering a single word, Alina. When I went to check on Susie again the next day, I was very surprised because she got better. Her introverted state was gone. She seemed like a happy person. She didn't seem to have a problem, or so I thought. Everything was going well in Susie's process. She reestablished communication with her husband, ate her meals, and seemed happy. It was as if she had never experienced that night. She was very strange, but I did not take any action thinking that she was okay. When her husband came to see Susie, he requested something after meeting with her. Can I take her home for one night? It would be good for Susie. It would, excuse me, it will help the healing process and Susie wants it too. He said, since Susie's pro progress, God, since Susie's progress was going well and I thought it would be good for her, I allowed her to stay in her house for that night. I think this was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Oh God. The night Susie wasn't in Bedlam, I had a gnawing feeling. 
I took the innovative and in a in, oh my god innovative initiative <laughs> and went to check her cell she had a very clean cell everything was tidy not messy i said no need to worry and decided to leave the room just as i was about to leave the room and close the door i saw a red stain on the wall at the corner of the bed as if it had been covered with the bed sheet i had to satisfy my curiosity i couldn't believe what i saw when i pulled the bed aside there were strange symbols written in blood on the wall, and in the middle of those symbols, a death and Martin were written side by side. <gasps> we immediately went to Susie's house with the police, but it was too late for everything. When we got home, we could hear Susie crying and muttering even through the front door. We went in. Susie had drawn the same symbol she had drawn on herself in blood in her room. Her husband was laying in the floor covered in blood. There was a writing Alina on the wall. Susie was muttering something like, he tricked me, Alina won't come back. Next to Susie was that book that had caught my attention earlier. The book was open as if she were trying to perform a ritual using that book. As we approached Susie, Susie shouted, I don't want to go, but her voice was different than usual. It was deeper, as if it didn't belong to her. She said once more, I don't want to go and fainted. We locked Susie back in her cell in Bedlam. Will she go to prison or stay in Bedlam? While waiting for the decision, Susie's execution was ordered. Oof. And until the time of her execution, it was deemed appropriate that she remain in Bedlam as she was mentally ill. Everything got even worse after that. After this incident, Susie never once asked about her husband or home. There was only one thing she asked for and wanted, and that was the book. She wasn't even eating. She was very aggressive. We never gave that book to her. She continued to hurt and, ins and insult people. She has turned into someone whose condition has deteriorated and now trying to harm everyone, including us. This really wasn't the Susie we knew when she first came. She was a different person when the day of execution came. Even Susie's words at the execution were about the book. She wanted the book laughing and angrily. Her last words were, you think everything is over, but this is just the beginning until that book is in my hands. <sighs> we believed everything would go back to normal after Susie's Jesus. execution. I told you it's long, bro, but it didn't turn out as we expected. Inexplicable thing events began to happen in Bedlam. Patients died, doctors died, and many other bad things took place. We decided to seek help from the church because we started to believe that Susie didn't really go. The church Some also con mm -hmm. the church also confirmed us. They imprisoned Susie in her own house and hid the book. And they told us precisely and clearly, do not take this book out of here or let it fall into Susie's hands again. If this book falls into the hands of Susie, even we don't know what will happen. Even though the book was hidden, I still had a bad feeling because the book was still within reach of any human being, even if it was difficult. So I did some research. Research. <laughs> there is no way to destroy the book, but one can hide it. It can be hidden in, other dimension, in another dimension. I cannot do this. The book does not want to be hidden. It wants to be found and used. It wants to control people and play with their minds. I do not have the will to resist that book. If you can hide it, take the book and place it on the statue located, yep, you're right, at the entrance of the hospital outside. Whatever happens, don't let Susie or anyone else get this book. Dr. Thompson. Fuck. So oh my god. I dude. did notice the symbols on the ground. Now this is just me being a nerd. There are Viking symbols in the circle, and it's really cool. Oh my gosh. I'm a nerd, okay? I like Vikings. Anyway, okay. so here's how it sounds like the story's gonna go. First of all, the story's great. I love this lore. It's great. I love this so much. Yes. So, we either A, play the safe side, put it in the statue's hands, and call it a day, or we could bring it to crazy ass Susie, who said she kills her daughter who doesn't exist, and see how that shit plays out. This is completely up to you. So because the ending, the ending of this guide I'm reading is completely blurred out. So who I is fucking hell? Oh my god! <laughs> you good there? Oh god, you didn't see that? There's nothing on my screen. You're just sitting there flipping out of my end, and I love it. <laughs> but I think the logical, get this logical 
decision would be to give it to the statue. Right? Listen, I get that. I get that. However, but, you are a content creator but, and you got to you got to get the content. But <laughs> I want to know what Susie's going to do. Me too. All right. Like like I I know it's bad because you know this thing is like a, a multi-dimensional being inside this book and I mean this blood here tells me it's bad but well, let's do it anyway I I will in fact feel like a shitty person for giving her this book but um you just walked through a light bulb like it was nothing yeah my my character ducked on my screen he, he ducked <laughs> you just walked right through it on my screen okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna go look at the statue, see what it looks like, see if it's Well, it be changed. careful, be careful. I don't want you to give it to her, then we can't do it. Don't get close. Like I'm afraid you're gonna actually do it automatically or some shit. Nah, I don't think you would. It doesn't look like it changed. Oh, I mean, change. you're fine as hell, but you know what? My curiosity is just getting to me, man. Would it be crazy if it wasn't just a note? Like she's just sitting there, like waiting and shit. Dude, I can't help but wonder if it was fucking Susie that scared the shit out of me. Oh god, okay, thank god. Hold on, I need to take a little sippy sip. So this is where the husband died. Oh my god, you're right. But wait, and where's the spirit, symbols? And her spirit- in the wall, in the wall, look in the wall. In the back wall. Oh. And her spirit is trapped in this room, which is why this room looks the way it does, and this is so clean. Her spirit is literally wrecking this room. All right, Brett, are you ready? Let's do this. My throat is not ready. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, what a bitch! <laughs> Just a note. You miserable rat. Did you really believe that poorly written story? It was indeed very poorly written. I couldn't help but laugh when I saw your face when you learned that Elena had died. The only reason you're alive now is because you got me out of here. Now it's time to take revenge on those who locked me up here. Thanks to you, I will kill many more people and take my revenge, Susie. That's it? Yep. So now I gotta know the event. Do you think we can go back, or do you think this is kind of it? That was the most anticlimactic ending ever. I thought something at least would have happened for doing the wrong- Man! There we go. <laughs> Like, I thought the storytelling was so, like, S tier. It was, was really good. The story was really good. Like, I was, well, I was, when I was listening to you, I was like, come on, come on, let's do this. Anything? Nope. Let's see if we can get the book again. Maybe we can read the letter. I don't know. If not, I'm going to YouTube. I'm going to look it up. And then we can watch Party It or something. I want to see it myself, though. Well, we made the bad decision because it lied to us. Maybe. Oh, Corn, I, sc I scanned a little bit. Something really does happen. So we chose the bad thing. We chose the yeah. bad one. If you yeah. can hide it, take the book and place on the statue located on the entrance of the hospital outside. Whatever happens, don't let Susie or anyone else. Okay. So what I'm going to do. No man, I got called a fucking rat and you got that. <laughs> <laughs> he said the same thing we got. That he was said, nifty. I got called a rat and you got that. <laughs> man, that was dope, and I'm so mad we didn't do it that one. I always knew. I always, I, uh, I know you. I know you think you're sexy, and you, bro, you can see your nipples through the top. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, my God.